I, I also seen the clippings myself. Um, but I was wondering whether uh, it would be an in-house procedure or whatever uh, for the things to be taken up instead of on the judicial side, you're not sitting, you're looking at a larger framework. I don't know whether I think so. But I, but I, I, we I feel, quite see what I, you are I saying. I feel, my lord, I personally, my lord. But I also look I, at, I, when I was in Bangalore, I had also spoken to members of the bar, not only about the incident, generally about the Honorable Judge and few other things. So I think you'll also get into a larger inquiry. It may have some other, some other implications. implications. I Lord, after the learned judge himself, my Lord, clarifying. Sometimes, my Lord, we also say something. Bench also says something. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, only thing can be, my Lord, that now we are being and we are under the gaze of the public, and uh, on both sides we have to be a little careful, my Lord. That's all. But I don't see, my Lord, any reason to stretch it uh, beyond that. That's my personal view, my Lord, and assistance. <laughs> Pulling up black windows once you go down You must be crazy if you think that I'ma slow down But wanna hear it talking shit from the drama Keep coming up and send you to your mama Mr. Whip, 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 now the gun dies Dropping bodies in the place till the sun dies Can't fuck the kids, I'm going to try Just wait for the bullets fly, I'm the last one to die You've received the report uh, from the Registrar General of the High Court uh, Attorney, have you had a look at the report? Has that been? Would you like to have a many copies uh, attendance up to the door? So it's a bit up to. Just take, yeah. take it two minutes to see yeah, the report. Yes. Just give me only one second. I'll just. But that is all right. We'll share it. Section of what you've heard. Advanced. Mr. Attention would like to brief, briefly uh, make any submission. Yes. I, I've also seen the clippings myself. <laughs> um, but I was wondering whether uh, it would be an in house procedure or whatever uh, for the things to be taken up instead of. On the judicial side, you're not sitting, you're looking at a larger framework. I don't know whether I think so. But I, but I, that I, we, I feel, quite see what I, you are I saying. I feel, my lord, I personally, my lord. But I also look I, at, I, when I was in Bangalore, I had also spoken to members of the bar, not only about the incident, generally about the honorable judge and few other things. So I think you'll also get into a larger inquiry. It may have some other, some other implications.
I Lord, think, after uh, the learned judge himself, my Lord, clarifying. Well, sometimes, my Lord, we also say something. Bench also says something. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, only thing can be, my Lord, that now we are being and we are under the gaze of the public and uh, on both sides, we have to be a little careful, my Lord, that's all. But I don't see, my Lord, any reason to stretch it uh, beyond that. That's my personal view, my Lord, and assistance to your Lord. That's what I On attention uh, of the court, yet was drawn to media reports pertaining to certain comments attributed to Justice V. Shishananda, a judge of the High Court of Karnataka, during the conduct of judicial proceedings. Stop. In this backdrop, comma. A suomoto proceeding has been registered. Full stop on 20 September 2024. The Registrar General of the High Court of Karnataka <coughs> was requested to submit a report after seeing, after seeing the administrative directions of the Chief Justice of the High Court of Karnataka in regard to the subject matter of the Suo Motu proceedings. Yes. A report has been, a report dated 23 September 2024 has been submitted by the KS Bharat Kumar from a Registrar General of the High Court of Karnataka in pursuance of the above directions. The report deals with two proceedings before the judge, the first of which took place on 6 June 2024, the second on 28 August 2024. Full stop. As regards the first proceeding, comma, the, uh, the, the, the before that we say the Registrar General has submitted a transcript, duly translated, a, a, a duly translated transcript. Together with his, as a part of his report, bearing in mind the fact that some part of the dialogue in the court had taken place in Canada. Full stop. The proceedings, the, the, uh, the, uh, the report, comma, insofar as the proceedings of 6 June 2024 are concerned. Contains the following uh, is set out below. Yeah, a, a copy that low. Uh, the report also contains an elaboration. It contains a, a narration of the proceedings which took place on 28 August 2024 and is reproduced below. BB. Next, the High Court of Karnataka has notified the Karnataka Rules on Live Streaming and Recording of Court Proceedings 2021 with effect from 1 January 2022. Report of the Registrar General states that live streaming of the court proceedings is conducted in accordance with the rules and is transmitted through the official YouTube channel of the High Court of Karnataka. As of date, it has a subscription of 1,38,000 subscribers. So the High Court of Karnataka has also notified the rules for video conferencing for courts 2020 
with effect from 25 June 2020 to regulate the conduct of court proceedings through the video conferencing mode. That's very different. Good stuff. The, vid the video recordings <coughs> in relation to the court proceedings on 6 June 2024 and on 28 August 2024 are a part of the video con uh, are a part of the video recording officially maintained by the High Court of Karnataka. Good stuff. Next. Uh, after this court had taken suomo to notice of the above developments of, of the above uh, events on 20 September 2024, uh, the court presided over by Justice B. Shishanda assembled on 21 September 2024 and in the course of the post-lunch session, comma, the judge in question proceeded to read out an address in the president in the presence of the members of the bar including the president secretary and other office bearers of the bengaluru advocates association good stuff the report of the registrar general contains the text of what was stated by the judge in the course of the proceedings on 21 September 2024, thus CC copy As in the case of the earlier two proceedings, uh, the video clip containing the above part forms a part of the official video recording of the Karnataka maintained by the Karnataka High Court. Good stop. The Video recordings have been submitted to this court in a pen drive. Next. The proceedings which took place before the Court of Justice Vishri on 21 September 2024 indicate that the learned judge has indicated that bracket one certain observations made by him have been quoted out of context in the social media semicolon bracket 2 the observations in the court of court in the course of the court proceedings were unintentional unintentional and were not intended to hurt the feelings of any segment of society or any individual in particular semicolon and bracket 3 an apology is being tendered if any section of society or any individual to invert commas has been directly or indirectly hurt by the observations into invert commas made by the judge into brackets referring to the observations on 6 June 2024 and 28 August 2024 stop bearing in mind the contrite apology which has been tendered by the judge of the high court in the course of the open court proceedings on 21 september 2024 we would intend to we, we would uh, we consider it in the interest of justice and the dignity of the institution to not pursue these proceedings further. Full we'll stop. However, before concluding this segment of the proceeding, which could have been uh, all this segment of the uh, this part of the proceeding, comma, would be necessary for this court to make some observations in general. Full we'll stop. Since Justice Shri Shanda. Is not, is not present in this court 
uh, don't say that. We have consciously desisted from issuing notice to the judge of the High Court of Karnataka in the interest of maintaining the institutional dignity of our High Courts and the judges who man them. Full stop. Conscious as we are of his absence in these proceedings, Puma, we are the observations which we make should not be uh, the, the observations which we make would be consistent with the need to preserve the dignity of the judicial system. Stop. Next. Uh, the prevalence and reach of the social media has included wide reporting of court proceedings. Let's stop. Most high courts in the country have now adopted rules for live streaming or as the case may be for the conduct of video conferencing. Let's stop. Emerging as a necessity in the course of the COVID-19 pandemic, video conferencing and live streaming of proceedings has emerged as an important outreach facility of courts to promote access to justice. We'll stop. At the same time, comma, all stakeholders in the judicial system, including judges, lawyers, and litigants, including parties and, uh, in, uh, and, and litigants, particularly parties in person, have to be conscious of the fact that the reach of the proceedings which take place in the court does not extend to merely those who are physically present, but has a far, uh, but has a, has a significant reach to audiences well behind, well, well beyond the physical presence of the court. So this places an added responsibility on judges and lawyers as well as litigants who appear in person conduct proceedings conscious of the wider impact of casual observations on the community at large. Full stop. As judges, comma, we are conscious of the fact that each individual bears a certain degree of accumulated predispositions based on our experiences of life, whether early experiences or those which are gained later. We stop. At the same time, comma, it is important that every judge should be aware of their own predispositions. Full stop. The heart and soul of judging is the need to be impartial and fair. Full stop. Intrinsic to that process is the need for every judge to be aware of our own predispositions. Because it is only on the basis of such an awareness that we can truly be faithful to the fundamental obligation of the judge to deliver objective and fair justice. Let's stop. We emphasize this point because it is necessary for every stakeholder in the institution to understand that the only values which must guide judicial decision making are those which are enshrined in the Constitution of India. Full stop. Casual observations may well reflect a certain degree of individual bias, particularly when they are directed against, particularly when they are likely to be perceived as being directed to a particular gender or community. Full stop. Courts, therefore, have to be careful not to make comments 
in the course of judicial proceedings, which may construe, maybe which may be construed as being misogynistic, or for that matter, prejudicial to any segment of our society. <coughs> Full stop. Uh, we are therefore of the view that the observations which were made in the course of the judicial uh, full stop. The text of the report which has been submitted by the Registrar General would amply indicate that the observations which were made in the course of the proceedings before the High Court of Karnataka were unrelated to the course of the proceeding and should have best been eschewed. Full stop. The perception of justice to every segment of society is as important as the rendering as the rendition of justice as an objective fact. Full stop. Uh, since the judge of the Karnataka High Court is not a party to these proceedings, comma, we desist from making any further observations, save and except to express our serious concern about both the reference to gender and to a segment of the community. Full stop. Uh, such observations are liable to be construed in a negative light, thereby impacting not only the vote of the judge who expressed them, but the wider judicial system. Full stop. In this view of the matter, comma, while we are inclined to close the proceedings, comma, we have made these observations in the hope and expectation that the demands which have been placed on all stakeholders in the judicial system in the electronic age would elicit an appropriate modulation of judicial behavior, modulation of behavior, both on the part of the bar and the bench in the future. Well, There's only one concern. It's, I, you know, it's stand concluded with these observations. So they also happen to see some Twitter messages about all that. Absolutely vitriolic without any understanding of what went on behind this. So I was only concerned that somebody does not take it as a handle to pursue any other. I, I only wish that it must yeah, be yeah. a matter of caution. I, there are people who would like to pick up anything they want and then go into the uh, there are all kinds of still you're right. Not, not seems so. But now you've seen but now you've seen the nature of the observation. I seen that. We can't call any part of the territory of India as Pakistan. Uh, because that I... fundamentally is contrary to the territorial integrity of the nation. One. I, I would like to offer any comment on that. But but I, anyway, not, not social media yeah. can't be controlled. Can't be controlled. Can't and be social control. media can't be controlled and the anonymity so. attached with the social media makes it a very dangerous tool. But should I tell you the answer? To sunlight is more sunlight. That's true. Not to suppress what happens in the courts, because I think this is a very important reminder to everyone. And the answer is not to close doors and shut yeah. everything down, but to say that look, please, I'm our reach extends beyond all. these four walls. Certainly, I'm not suggesting that at all. Uh, please say that's what happens. But we'll, I think, you know, we've expressed <laughs> as far as we could have, and uh, we'll leave it at that. Right. <laughs> हेलो कहाँ जा रहे हैं ऐसे ही इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो देखने के लिए आप हमारे चैनल को लाइक करें सब्सक्राइब करें और शेयर करें यदि आप फेसबुक इंस्टाग्राम और ट्विटर पर देख रहे हैं तो डिस्क्रिप्शन में लिंक है उसे भी जाकर फॉलो कर लें धन्यवाद